There's been a total of 16 insane CSGO crafts in 2021 so far. The total value of these 16 items combined is almost over $350,000. So today we're going to be taking a look at all of these skins. If you like CSGO skins and you want to support me at the same time, check out my website betrefs.com or skinaways.com. On betrefs you can find all the available affiliate codes for legit gambling websites in the CSGO scene. Also on betrefs we have a daily giveaway that you can join. Skinaways is simply a page where we list all of the active giveaways in the scene at the moment on one page that's it no bullshit i hope you check the websites out the links are in the description the first skin we're looking at is the op gungnir crafted by burger guy there's four clan mystic hollow stickers applied to this gun this op got a 0 0.003 float which is really good for an op gungnir the gungnir in this float by itself is six thousand dollars and the four stickers each are 3750 this total craft is worth fourteen thousand dollars if we go over to this Burger Guy's profile or Egg McMuffin, I actually don't know. But one thing I know is that this guy loves his stickers and especially the Mystic Hollows. The M4A4 Emperor, for example, the Souvenir Op Dragon Lore, Glock Fade, USPS Stainless Steel, Blood in the Water, AK Redline with four I by Power Hollows. These skins are not included in the list of the 2021 crafts, but I wanted to show them because there's some pretty interesting skins. I want to give a shout out to my friend Dreps for giving me the near correct info on all of the prices for these items. Last week, I also sold all of my skins to him, about seven and a half thousand dollars. He's super interested in high tier items, trading, selling, and buying. So if you share the same interest in skins as well, drop him a follow. His Twitter link will Will be in the description of this video and if you end up following him make sure to tell him that i send you show him some love because he's helping a lot with these videos the next item we're looking at is the Statrak m4a1s print stream the base price of this item is 600 dollars on a 0.05 float there's four complexity hollow stickers applied to it i personally love this combination with the white and the red each sticker sells for about 1200 dollars so the total value of this craft is about 3600 dollars the owner of this item goes by the name Li cheng correct me if i'm wrong he has some pretty interesting skins in his inventory as we can see over here just a casual stat track m4a4 howl factory new a factory new ob dragon lore a sapphire talon knife doppler and an m9 emerald a very interesting item i found in his inventory was the stat track op containment breach which is the lowest float in the whole world because it's stat track and super low float this could be used for an insane craft in the future on to the next item and this is a beauty the op dragon lore in a 0.004 float value with four titan hollows applied to it the owner applied three new titan hollows to this weapon in 2021 one titan hollow trades for twenty thousand dollars the base value of this op on this float is seventy four hundred because there's $80,000 worth of stickers applied to this weapon, the weapon is now valued at $60,000. This price gives the item a tied first place for the most expensive crafted weapon in 2021 so far. The other weapon at $60,000, we'll see later in this video. This item belonged to someone named Jin Fei Mao Shuka. I don't know if I pronounce this right, but it means something like Golden Cat in Chinese. He does not own the op anymore, but he still has some spicy items in his inventory. The next item we're taking a look at is an op Gungnir on a James Bond float. 007 with four LGB stickers applied to it. One LGB sticker is $3,850 a piece and the base op at a 007 float is valued at $5,750. So this craft's total value is around $15,000. This item was crafted by someone named 666 and his inventory is worth over $200,000 if you include the rubies and the sapphires. His inventory is so stacked, it deserves a video on its own. The next item we're taking a look at is an op fade with also an 007 float. This op fade has four Virtus Pro stickers applied to it. Each Virtus Pro sticker trades for about $2,600 a piece. The regular op at this float is valued at $1,080, but this total craft is worth $10,500. This item was crafted by a person by the name of Path. Just on the profile display, we can already see this person has an insane collection of skins and especially a lot of skins with Katowice hollows applied to them. What stood out to me about Path's inventory was that there was a lot of extremely low float items. So Path likes to collect a lot of extremely low float items and I actually think that's super cool because the rarity of these items are not based on its color coding. The next gun we're taking a look at is the Statrak AK-47 Neon Rider with four LDLC hollows applied to it. The base price of the skin is $900 at a 0.005 float 
and each sticker is worth seven and a half thousand dollars. The total value of this skin is twenty nine and a half thousand dollars. This item was crafted by someone named IDN from Botswana. Now I actually doubt he's from Botswana because if he was, he'd be able to feed a few villages with the money that he spent on crafting this skin. The next craft is a Statrak P2000 with a 3D Max Hollow applied to it. The Statrak Fire Elemental base price is seven hundred and seventy dollars at zero point zero zero one float. The 3D Max sticker is valued at fourteen hundred dollars, which makes the total value of this skin. $1,400. This is the cheapest craft in this video. This item was crafted by someone named Frogboy, and he claims to be the world number one 3D Max collector, so maybe we'll check out his inventory in a future video. The next item on the list is the M4A4 Royal Paladin. I personally love this skin because the combination is so clean. The Statrak Royal Paladin is valued at $1,080 for a 0.006 float. Four NIP hollow stickers applied to it at $1,050 each make this weapon a $3,600 item. This item was crafted by Veselin, and if we check out Veselin's Steam profile, it's to no surprise that there were NIP stickers applied to this M4, because it's not hard to tell this guy loves NIP. And NIP meaning nothing in PayPal for him. The next item we're taking a look at is the AK-47 Wild Lotus at a 0.005 float. It has four Vox Hollow stickers applied to it, trading for $10,000 each. The base value for this AK at a 0.005 float is $6,200. The total value of this craft is $40,000. This item was also crafted by the Golden Fat Cat, the same person who also crafted the $60,000 Ob Dragon Lore with three new Titan Hollows. The next item is the Op Prince with four Dignitas Hollow stickers applied to it. The stickers are $7,000 each, and the base price of this op is $3,080 at a 0.005 float. The total value of this op is $23,000, and it was crafted by someone named Alex, and it just had to show his profile because his picture is kind of sick. $40,000, that's the price of the op you're looking at. It is a op Gungnir with four Vox hollows applied to it. The base price of this op is $6,000 at a 0.003 float. The Vox hollows are $10,000 a sticker, making this craft $40,000 in total. It was crafted by the player named Zekker or Z4KR from China. Next up is the AK-47 Wild Lotus, at a base price of $3,000 on a 0.05 float. With one complexity hollow sticker applied to it, one NIP hollow, one I by power non hollow, and one Titan non hollow applied to it. It's a total of $5,000 in stickers. $1,200 for the complexity sticker, $1.6k for the I by power sticker, $1,000 for the NIP sticker, and $1,200 for the Titan sticker. The total value of this skin is $4,800, and it was crafted by Sedema, who apparently really likes anime. The next craft is a Statrek Op Onitaji at a 0.07 float making the base price $1,370. There were three new Hellraiser hollows applied to this skin. There was already one Hellraiser hollow applied to this skin, and he just added three new ones, trading at $4,100 per sticker. The total value of this craft is $15,000, and it was crafted by someone named Four Books, Five Classics, and Six Young Children, or whatever that may mean. I don't know. <laughs> this is another Ob Dragonlore at a 0.028 float, the base price is $6,000. There were three new Reason Hollows applied to this weapon, trading at $18,000 per sticker. One was already applied, but now that there's four on this skin, the skin trades for $60,000. This item was crafted by someone named Follow the Butcher, cute pupper on the profile picture, and also a very nice look in CSGO inventory. The last but not least item is the AK-47 X-Ray with a base price of $4,000 at a 0.005 float. It has four Dignitas hollows applied to it, trading at $7,000 per sticker. This item is now worth $29,000 and it was crafted by someone named 3055. That was it for today's video. If you did enjoy, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have suggestions for future videos on skin related topics, comment them down below and me and Draps will start working out some ideas you guys submit. Obviously, make sure to follow Draps on Twitter and check out my websites, betrefs.com and skinaways.com if you love skins. Betrefs.com has all the free affiliate codes available on the legit gambling websites out there and Skinaways simply lists all of the active giveaways in the scene at the moment. That's it. See you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm already done with the video, but there were two new Gunger crafts for about $60,000 in total. I might cover them in another video.